superhero landing. Yeah, you know, that's really hard on your knees. Totally impractical. They all do it. Once upon a time, in a year called 2008, superhero movies were not your only option at the theater. I will fuck you up! You could hear Meryl Streep sing ABBA songs. Mama Mia. Or watch a charming little robot <laughs> fall in love. And that is all that love's about. Why now do all of our protagonists on screen wear capes and don masks and have funny names? A man, man. I know. It wasn't my idea. I would wager the success of Christopher Nolan's The Dark Knight is mostly to blame. Nolan dared critics to think of the superhero genre as more than just popcorn fare, and placed his movie in a new canon of high art. Thanks to the ominous cinematography, Evening, adrenaline-fueled editing, Snappy screenplay. Harvey, the last man that they appointed to protect the Republic was named Caesar, and he never gave up his power. Okay, fine. You either die a hero, or you live long enough to see yourself become the villain. And a performance by Heath Ledger that earned him a posthumous Academy Award for Best Supporting Actor as the Joker. And the Oscar goes to Heath Ledger in the Dark Knight. We both knew what you had created in the Joker was extraordinarily special and had even talked about being here on this very day. We really wish you were, but we proudly accept this award on behalf of your beautiful Matilda. I was in high school when this movie came out, and as an avid Batman fan, I made seeing this flick a weekly pilgrimage. You're a hard man to reach. Its gritty qualities echoes the vision of genius graphic novelist Frank Miller. Plows halfway to Hong Kong. But strays from the whimsy of Burton's earlier forays. So much to do. And so little time. And luckily, has no resemblance to Schumacher's farces. Five million. That's a utility belt, not a money belt. Six million. Seven million. Never leave the cave without it. This Gotham City is recognizable, and its characters not so bombastic that we aren't affected by their emotions, making their strife at times heart-wrenching, and in the case of Mr. Ledger, bone-chilling. Let's put a smile on that face. As he changed the face of Menace as we knew him, begging us to find the humor in the horrific of this iconic clown king. Why so serious? Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. It's one of the big cinematic events that I can recall from memory. We are tonight's entertainment. And it broke new ground in how Hollywood would view some of America's most unique form of storytelling, comic books, allowing filmmakers to take these caped crusaders to new heights and deeper emotional levels, making the action take a back seat to some of the bigger themes being addressed, such as the nature of chaos, you know what I noticed? Nobody panics when things go according to plan. Even if the plan is horrifying. Vengeance. It's not about what I want. It's about what's fair! Greed. All you care about is money. This town deserves a better class of criminal. And I'm gonna give it to them. And the pursuit... <laughs> ...of satisfaction. Come on. For Frame of Mind, I'm Joey Swift.